Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On the day that this video goes up, it should be February 10th, which is Sulgi Day or Sulgi's birthday. So happy Sulgi Day to all of the Rev Loves and Soulmates that are watching right now. Today's actually February 8th as I'm recording this, so it's been an entire two years since I saw Red Velvet in person at Red Mare in LA. I can't believe that it's been two years since then, like that's absolutely insane. And I really hope that Red Velvet comes back soon with a tour or something, or even just a comeback, like I miss them so much. But anyway, Anyways, for Solgi's birthday today, I thought that it would be really fun for me to give an entire new makeover to her binder since she is my ultimate bias and I took out all of these photo cards for an Instagram picture which you should definitely go like and comment on after this video. But yeah, I really want to just rearrange this entire binder. It's kind of been in the same order for the entire time that I've collected Solgi and I also want to make like a page divider for it like right in the front. I want to have like a nice opening cover since it just opens right on the cards so I thought that I could use this extra monster photo book that I got an album and then this extra scrapbook finale album that I used for my phone case video but yeah I'm super duper excited I think I'm actually going to start out with a time lapse of me making the divider first since that should be pretty quick hopefully so let me move all of the photo card stuff and binder off to the side For this divider, I'm not really sure the vibe that I'm going to be going for. Obviously, I'll be using the photos in these two albums, but I think I'm just gonna do it randomly and see how it turns out. And if I don't like it, I can always redo it later. But yeah, let's get right into the time lapse for this page divider. Okay, so I'm finally back and done with my Sulgi page divider. And I don't really know how much of that time lapse I'm going to leave in since it took me forever to pick up pictures I wanted to use and like cut everything out. But here's the final result. I'm honestly really, really happy with how it turned out. I decided not to use any of the pictures from Monster just because they clashed a little too much for my taste, but I'm super duper happy with how it turned out. Honestly, the Finale scrapbook photo book lends itself so well to page dividers since they look so scrapbooky. Well, it's called the scrapbook 
version but yeah i'm really really happy with how it turned out so i'll put this in the front of the binder once i'm finished putting in all of the photo cards but yeah i think i'll just start organizing all of the cards and start sleeving them this is going to be a pretty long process i think of just sleeving and yeah let's get right into it
Okay guys, so I finally finished putting away all of my Sulgi photo cards that took a lot longer than I expected to be honest. And I was originally planning on mixing in the postcards and 4x6 photos between each era's photo card sets. I also really wanted to integrate some of these Yes photo cards into these pages, but unfortunately that didn't really work out. So, oh well, I guess. But it's like 2 a.m. now, so I don't really want to stay up any longer since I have school tomorrow. So I guess I'll save that for another video. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video definitely go wish Sogi a happy birthday on instagram or bubble if you have it i know Sogi or red velvet will never ever watch this organization video but i really really hope that she just has an amazing day and knows that she's loved by all of rebel loves all around the world but i don't want to get too sappy here and as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe stay safe stay healthy stay loud and i'll see you in my next video happy Sogi day